Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Platinum Bloodborne episode 21. Uh, this is where we left off last time, we killed the Chime Lady up there, and we're going to continue forward. Because we killed that Chime Lady, none of the Blood Roberts behind us will respawn, so that's good. Um, jeez, how do I get down there? There's an item there, and to get it, I think you have to go down here. But then can I get back around? I think it's later, isn't it? And if I jump down there, wait, let me check over here. Yeah, that's there. Yeah, you can't get through here. So th this looks like a uh, illusory wall, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? All right, this door doesn't open from this side. Let me just check something really silly. Oh, that's a weird glitch. Yep, that shouldn't have been designed that way. <laughs> Oh well. You always you can always miss things like that when you're developing a game, I guess. Alright, so for this bit it's fairly true. This entire area is really hard. Whoa. I really wish I had not got hit by that. Okay, I took a bit of a risk there attacking, but I felt it was better to attack and try and get some health back than to let him deal all of that damage to me. Oh, thank god he staggered. Somewhat. Yes. One more. Yes! Alright, cool. Now he's... Uh, you can see he's a blood ogre. And because of that, we have to take out the chime lady. Who is not that person. That's an air rune. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Chime lady is over there, so we're going to rush over here. Oh no, no 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 no. One, two, three, dodge. <sighs> Almost. Come on. Give me more health back. Okay. Fine, give me that. Quick silver bullets and Where is he? You would not sound like that. Whoa! A thousand and twenty-nine. <laughs> That's because um he it didn't, it's not necessarily stagger, but it's like, he was going for an attack. Well, actually, no, because that was a shield bob or shield blood robot. Um, I made his attack, like I deflected his, uh, his block, and then that la left him vulnerable to attack. But it was, on top of that, it was, uh, it's considered like he's attacking me so that it does more damage. And then, yeah, you combine that with the other thing, and then it's, yeah, all combined. Alright, and we'll just finally take out this last gunner bob, who somehow managed to hit me, because I dodged in the wrong way. That's okay. Please give me a blood vial. Oh, that's right. He only gives bullets. Stupid gunner bob. Actually, he might give blood vials, but I think he only gives bullets. Or he very, very commonly gives bullets. Alright, this part, even harder. Oh, God. If you don't know what to do, it can be really, really tough. Now, let me see. I believe this is the first way we want to go. Yep. Alright, so we go up here. And we quickly just run over here and jump down. Now we wait a second. We look around. Try and make sure that no one's following us. There's a blood ochre ogre in there who we're going to take care of. And, yep, we don't have to go that way. Okay, we'll let him fall down. Don't worry, he, he'll be happy down there. Here's the Chime Lady. This is a really difficult Chime Lady to find if you don't know where to look. Um, so yeah, taking her out is a massive deal, I think. Oh, I thought it was supposed to eliminate him, but it doesn't. And then... How do I get down here? Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I, I know I have to get in the middle. Hang on, let me just double check up here, see if there's anything that's tricky to remember this area. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so once you've done that, you can just jump safely down here. Don't worry, we're inside a cage, so they can't get us. And we get the upper cathedral key. May as well have a quick look at the um, air rune. What was it? Have we got one before? Yeah, okay, so we get even... <sighs> they didn't do a great job of, like, explaining the effect, or at least 
differentiating between a more powerful one, but essentially, if you look on the left, the one that's sort of more faded is the weaker one, and then this one has a bit more colour to it, so it's stronger. Um, they did a good job when they were doing, for example, what's one here? So, Max Vile's Health plus one, Max Vile's Health plus three. You can tell that, obviously, that's an upgrade of that. But for the other ones, they just, for some reason, use the same description. All right. So let's walk through here, oh, let's open this gate, and okay, we're gonna get the attention of that blood ogre, and that's fine. We'll just keep using jumping attacks to take care of him. As you can see, I got him, I clipped him right at the end of that attack, and I did a hundred or so more damage than I would have otherwise done. Oh, and now we take this guy out, who I actually completely forgot was there, but luckily he didn't hit me. And this Blood Ogre should still be on the same amount of health. I'm not going to target him, I'm just going to... There we go. Now I'm going to target him. Oh, damn. <laughs> Quickly. Get some of that rally back. Somewhat risky, but I had a feeling that his attack would would take long enough so that um, my attack could work. But yeah, I was a little bit too far away to, to start off with. So the upper cathedral key, we're definitely going to need that all the keys in this game we need. What's in here? I actually, <laughs> I'm just trying to remember. Ah, the tiny tonitrus. Now, is this... I have to actually look at this because I don't remember if this is a key item or... It's not a weapon. There is a weapon called tonitrus. Um, and... Ah, yeah, this one. Uh, a weapon called tonitrus. That would have been really helpful against um, Rom the Vacuous Spider. No, I think about it. I'm, trying, I'm actually quite curious as to why I don't have that weapon. I'm pretty sure you find that weapon. Um, this weapon is another. It's another. Another. Um, what do they call it? Like an arcane spell, and you strike it into the ground to emit blue sparks. Tonitrus is a unique weapon crafted by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. This is a similar Morning Star mace that utilizes quicksilver bullets. When struck into the ground, it recreates the blue sparks that are set to surround the Dark Beasts. Like Archibald's masterpiece, this too is a superb, superb conductor of, power, of the powerful blue sparks. All right, so if I get enough um, uh, uh, blood echoes at the end of the game, I'll I'll definitely show that off. I'll show off. I'll try and show off all the arcane abilities. I need to get to 25 arcane, which is a lot, but yeah, I should be able to do it. Um, there's a phase beast there who doesn't seem to care that we're just like right in front of him. Don't know why, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, let's climb up. Oh, excellent. We actually got rid of uh, everyone that was here. So there was a whole bunch of uh, Berters there. Um, but killing that Chime Lady just makes things enormously easier. Oh, yeah, that's where I came from. Oh, hello. I thought I heard something. I was like, where's that coming from? Alright, so there was one left. Oh, we got a Tempering Blood Gemstone, too. That it might actually be better than the one we have. We'll check that later on. We're coming up to a boss eventually. Um, or are we? Now that I think about it. Oh no. Uh, uh. Yeah, we <laughs> took care of all the blind birders that were in that other area that you didn't see, but not these ones. And we're good. Oh, no, we're not good. Jeez, how many are there? I don't remember there being that many. Ow. Thank you very much. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright, now before we continue, uh, there's that phase beast there, and he's going to try and hurt us. Um, before we... Oh, I guess I'll get the attention of these blind birders. Alright, so let's watch, because I actually forgot. Yeah, I'm supposed to stand on the left. Is there another one? Oh, I forgot this item, almost. Ah, excellent. Alright, I know exactly what I'm going to do. First of all, I want to get his, her attention. Just run, and then go to the right. Just avoid the explosions and you'll be fine. Oh crap. Quickly, yep, now stand back. Stand here, avoid the explosions. We're gonna come back here in a sec, I just wanna do one last thing. 
and that is to get the item that I missed before. <laughs> Won't take that long. Just run back through here, climb up the step, steps, stairs, whatever you want to call them, and fall off the side here and collect this, which is three more bolt papers. So it's not, you know, hugely important, but it is useful. And then you can just jump onto here. There's no, I'm pretty sure there's no like uh, extra secret, you know, for jumping onto the, the, that sort of elevated area that you can reach. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that's here. It took me so, it took me like an hour to get through this area the first time. Now it took me the five minutes. <laughs> All right, so for this, you want to just basically position yourself where the, the explosions are not going to be, and then sort of analyze the situation down these steps. So a lot of the left is volatile, so as you run down, stick to the right, and you're good. I'm just going to check out this area outside. Nothing. All right, excellent. All right, we made it to um, the checkpoint, which is awesome. Uh, so let's light that right now. Oh, that's right. Hang on. I forgot. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, just in time. <laughs> yes. And I got two bloodstone chunks. Thank God I got that. Yeah, I forgot about that, but luckily I, I had enough... Um, presence of mind to use the uh, to use the, the pistol and it worked this time. Okay, let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. Uh, I'll explain this area that we're in right now. Um, it has a, a replica area. So earlier I introduced you to those guys, Mr. Bagglesworth, who are quite difficult and um, they if you're killed by them, you get teleported to an area that looks exactly like that area, except you're on the ground, and I'll, I'll show you more when we get down there. How many Quicksilver balls do I have? Wow, plenty. I'm gonna sell. Um, anything really good that I should buy? I kind of want to buy those Tomb, tomb Prospectors stuff, especially because it has good bolt defense and we're going to need that soon. Hmm. Alright, uh, maybe later. Let's have a look at the cow runes. Is there anything that I want to change? Those two are good. We don't really need more blood vials. I only had it before because that was the best thing we could get. More items from fallen enemies is pretty good. Um, nah, let's keep everything. Alright, let's keep everything the way it is. Repair the weapon, we haven't done that in a while. And blood gem fortification, alright. So what can we change? Anything, well, that can increase our blunt attack, but we want to kind of have it all over. So no, uh, what about this one? Uh, unfortunately it was weaker. <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, but what we can do, now that we have three bloodstone chunks, is upgrade our hunter axe, hooray! Excellent, it gets a nice big boost. Now we need five bloodstone chunks now to upgrade it again. So, uh, and we'll upgrade it from, to have a difference in damage. It'll get nine extra damage. Yeah, nine extra damage, okay. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you add like the other, the other stuff in, it's quite a bit. All right, let's use our twin bloodstone shards and upgrade the cannon. And then we'll upgrade the pistol as well. And we've actually got enough to upgrade both to, to max, well, max for bl twin bloodstone shards. So now our our pistol is a lot more powerful. It looks exactly the same, but trust me, it's a lot more powerful. <laughs> Alright, let's retrieve these 99 Quicksilver bullets. Sell them again. just because I know I'm not going to use that many and it's worth for the extra little bit of blood echoes. Now let's level up. Alright, what can we level up this time? We haven't leveled up in a, in a while. If I put two more points into skill... Yeah, let me check this for a sec, hang on. Because I kind of do want to use the cannon um, soonish. It needs 13... Yeah, it needs... Ooh, I could actually... Pump it all into strength and... Mm. Oh no, I don't have enough. <laughs> uh, no, that's too risky. I'm going to do it one each. 
I'll do it like that, yeah. That's that's a good... I think overall upgrades are better than just pumping all the points into one. Maybe if it was like two points away, I'd do it, but with that much... Nah, there's just too much difference. It's, it's not worth risking the next few bosses on, you know, not having enough health or not having enough stamina, um, but having enough strength. It's just, yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, so the headstone we go to is... I think it's the last one, isn't it? No. This one? Yep. Yahagul Chapel. Yeah. Unseen Village is the, the first one right outside, or right where I um, started the previous episode. Alright. I'm going to cut this out actually because this loading takes a while, so I'll meet you in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, Yahago Unseen Village. So, um, I guess I'll explain when I get down there. We're, we're almost there anyway. Did that pot just appear? <laughs> that was so weird. The game was loading. Okay, this area is a little bit tricky as well, so you want to be careful. There's a lot of these weird, creepy guys in the in chairs. Uh, this phase beast doesn't do anything. Just make sure here. Okay, so for this, well, you can actually see them spawning down there. For this, what you want to do is you want to go... Where is it? Oh, here. You want to jump off this and land on... Uh, this top platform. Use a falling attack to take out the gunner bob. Now there's some bloodhounds. I love the way that worked out too. Spin. Okay, cool. They're dead. And now, um, where's the chime lady again? God. Oh yeah, that's right, she's over here. Alright, so what you want to do immediately, rush over here, kill the chime lady, very quickly. All these guys are going to get sort of like they lose their blood abilities or their ability to respawn essentially. And then you just take out this guy. And luckily I have enough health to survive his brutal attack. And also don't don't um get caught out by this guy. <laughs> oh, hello. How did you survive that? He must have survived. Oh, eight blood vials. Excellent. 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 We need blood vials. I really wanted to try and stockpile them, but I haven't been able to. I guess I've been playing a little bit too risky. I should have been taking it a little bit easier. Um, okay, so we open this door, and um, this is almost where you would start um, in if you got killed by Mr. Bagglesworth. I'll explain exactly where you would start if you did. What the? I don't, I don't remember seeing that. I wonder if there's something back there. Uh, well, I can't get back there, so probably not. Weird. Um, okay, so there, there was a lamp, like, a checkpoint here, but it's kind of broken. I don't know if I can actually activate it at the moment. Maybe I can later, but for right now I can't. Alright. Let's open this door as well. Can I? No, I have to go outside. Alright, this, this will probably be where I end the episode. I'm going to have to fight some guys first, but this will probably be where I end it. Let's read this. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. So what that means is that it, the ritual, the nightmarish ritual, can it, it can only continue if a newborn is crying. So if we find a newborn and stop it crying, then um, we can stop the nightmarish ritual. And I think that is the essentially the law for the final boss of the game. But we'll find out. I'm not. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. All right, this is tricky. You want to be really careful, just take your time, be really slow, cautious, may as well just use a health vial, blood vial, to get my stuff back. And let's throw a Molotov cocktail at this guy, get his attention, ah oh, damn, I've got all of their attentions. Is there a third one that I can't see? Ah, oh, this guy's got a cannon, no! Okay, so you're going to probably see what the cannon looks like, and to be honest, I'm probably going to die here. Unless I can... Ooh. He's weak. Is that what he looked like? I don't even remember seeing... Oh my god, that was bad. Ah. Wait. No. No, no. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
I'll get back there and fight them again, so I'm going to cut this next bit out, and then hopefully I'll be able to win. I just got a little bit overwhelmed there, because I didn't realise all three would attack regardless of, um, of trying to get the attention of one. So I'm going to cut this next bit out, and I'll meet you back in a second. Okay, we're back again. Um, there's my body. Alright, so I'm going to do this a bit differently. I'm actually going to rush that guy in the middle and see if I can kill him quickly. Because I don't remember... I don't know if I should... Mm. Alright, well I can't see the other one, so I'm just going to rush him. Try and do as much damage as possible. There he is, he was hidden behind. Oh, I think I just got... Attempted cannon. Yes, no. <laughs> oh god. Oh, he's using the claws. Cool. Alright, so that guy's actually using a weapon that we can't get until very, the very end of the game. Let's go out. Use the doorway as a as the blockade. Hell yeah, that's that's how you do it. I wonder if this is how I did it the first time. I don't. It seems kind of like it might have been. Yeah, the claws are quite dangerous. Nope. He's almost dead. Yes! Alright, that's one dead. Oh no. Heal, 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 heal. Heal again, just in case. No, I missed. Just keep sweeping. These guys, I'm pretty sure they don't heal. Awesome. Oh. Oh, almost got him. I can't see the other one, but... What the... Oh. There we go. What the hell? <laughs> Where did the other guy go? Alright, doesn't matter. Ah, oh, there he is. He's backing up. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, cool. I got pretty lucky. Claw mark. There's another claw mark rune. I think that one is... Should be stronger, but it's probably weaker. Alright, awesome. Awesome. Okay, just do that. <laughs> just, just do what I did. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that to go as well... Well, at least the second time I didn't expect that to go as well as it did. But it did. Um, okay, I'm just gonna collect this item here, and I'll stop. I'll stop for now. Ah, the moon rune. Ah, yes. Now the moon rune is very, very important, and I'm probably going to use it actually, and I'll explain why. Let's have a look at it, and then we'll stop for today. All right. Uh, moon rune. Acquire more blood echoes. So basically, when you kill stuff, you get more than you normally would, and if, even if it's as low as like 5%, 100 enemies, that's 500% more blood uh, echoes than you would have had. So it's very, very useful, and I'm probably going to um, equip it um, soon. Oh, I don't think I'm going to go back and equip it. Should I? Yeah, alright. I'll go back and equip it, and um, that's pretty much it for today's episode. So um, I'll start in that area where I just was, um, uh, facing outwards, sort of where I picked up the moon rune. Alright guys, uh, that's it for Let's Platinum Bloodborne episode 21, my name is Ultima456, and I will see you guys next time.